एंड नमस्कार रिग्रेशन लिनियर रिग्रेशन क्लासिकल अप्रोच एंड अ न्यू काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम परहेप्स यू मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर गोइंग टू फेस दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम द इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल इज एक्स बार मीन ऑफ वेरिएबल एक्स इज टेन वाई बार मीन ऑफ वेरिएबल वाई इज ट्वेंटी वेरायंस ऑफ एक्स इज सिक्सटीन वेरायंस ऑफ वाई इज थर्टी सिक्स एंड कोफिशियंट ऑफ को रिलेशन बिटवीन एक्स एंड वाई आर इज पॉइंट एट फाइंड आउट द लाइन्स ऑफ रिग्रेशन ऑफ द टू वेरिएबल्स जेड इक्वल्स टू एक्स माइनस फोर इंटू टू एंड डब्ल्यू इक्वल्स टू वाई माइनस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सो जेड इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ ओरिजिन एंड स्केल इन वेरिएबल एक्स एंड सिमिलरली W इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ ओरिजिन एंड स्केल इन केस ऑफ वेरिएबल वाई सो एट द टाइम ऑफ ऑल कैलकुलेशन वी हैव टू कीप इन आर माइंड द प्रोपर्टी रिलेवेंट टू चेंज ऑफ स्केल एज वेल एज ओरिजिन एवरी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट विथ मीन्स x bar is equal to 10 y bar is equal to 20 on the basis of these two rather on the basis of x bar we need to find out mean of z z bar similarly on the basis of mean of y y bar we can find out the mean of w or w bar but how because ultimately z is the result of change of origin and scale in x and w is the result of change in origin and scale in case of Why? So we should keep the property of mean relevant to the change of scale and origin in our mind. What is the property of mean about the change of scale and origin? Mean is not independent of change of origin and scale. Yes, mean is not independent of. change of origin and scale that means if we add to or subtract from the original value any constant value mean will change similarly if original values are multiplied or divided by any number constant value the mean will change so on the basis of this property the mean of z will be like this we have to consider the change of origin as well as scale at the time of calculating mean so z bar will be x bar 10 minus 4 into 2 that means 6 into 2 so z bar will be 12 Similarly, W is y minus five divided by three. So W bar mean of W will be y bar minus five by three. Y bar is twenty minus five upon three. So it is fifteen by three. So W bar is five. We have to consider change of origin as well as scale both at the time of calculating the means of the new variables. now standard deviation sx under root 16 that is 4 sy under root 36 that is 6 now what about the property standard deviation is independent of change of origin but not scale so we should not consider the change of origin at the time of calculating standard deviations of z and y respectively on the basis of x and y but we have to consider the change of scale at the time of calculation standard deviation is independent of change of origin but not of scale again z is x minus 4 into 
but standard deviation of z will be only x standard deviation of x into 2 because standard deviation is independent of change of origin there will be no change of addition or subtraction of any constant value on standard deviation therefore standard deviation of x is 4 into 2 and standard deviation of z comes to 8 similarly in case of w it is ultimately y minus 5 upon 3 but standard deviation of w will be only standard deviation of y divided by 3 again the same case it is independent of change of origin so we have to ignore the change of origin now it is 6 divided by 3 so standard deviation of w comes to 2 this is totally a new thing please take utmost care at the time of watching this lecture and studying this topic so now we have z bar w bar and this both now what about the coefficient of correlation coefficient of correlation between x and y is 0.8 what about the property of coefficient of correlation relevant to change of origin and scale? The coefficient of correlation is independent of change of origin and scale, both. So no effect on the coefficient of correlation of the change of origin and scale. The coefficient of correlation is independent of change of origin and scale that means r rather rho z w or coefficient of correlation between z and w remains the same 0.8 because the coefficient of correlation between x and y is 0.8. Now we have the coefficient of correlation between z and w, standard deviation of z and w and means. So now we can find out the coefficients of regression of z and w and the lines of regression etc. Let us do it. B z w will be r of z w into s z upon s w that is 0 0.8 into s z is 8 upon s w is 2 that is 0 0.8 into 4 so b z w is 3.2 similarly b w z it, it seems unusual even in speaking B W Z equals to coefficient of correlation into S W upon S Z. 0.8 into 2 upon 8. That means B W Z is 0.2. You can verify the answer of coefficient of correlation bzw 3.2 into bwz 0.2 that means r square is 0.64 and its square root is 0.8 since both of these are positive coefficient of correlation must also be positive now the lines of regression first it will be of z on w the format will be the same z cap equals to a plus b w where b stands for b z w what is the formula of z i mean a a equals to z bar minus b z w into w bar z bar is 12 minus bzw is 3.2 into w bar is 5 so
it comes to 12 minus 16 that is minus 4 a is minus 4 so the equation of line of regression will be z cap equals to minus 4 plus 3.2 w now line of regression of w on z that will be w cap equals to c plus b z where b stands for b w z and formula of c will be w bar minus b w z into z bar <coughs> w bar is 5 minus b w z is 0.2 into z bar is 12 5 minus 2.4 so c is 2.6 and hence the equation of w on z is w cap equals to 2.6 plus 0.2 z now the last part is estimate the value of w when z is 15 when z equals to 15 w will be 2.6 plus 0 0.2 into 15 it is 2.6 plus 3 so estimated value of w comes to 5.6 so the estimated value of w when z takes value 15 is 5.6 so in this case we studied how to find out the means, the standard deviations, the coefficient of correlation and the coefficients of regression of new variables which are the results of change of origin and scale in the original variables. I hope you are able to understand this case. That's it. Thank you very much.